Hi everyone. In a previous video I talked about backpacks, both physical and mental, and what it is that we carry in it, and how we often carry more in those backpacks, especially our mental ones, than we absolutely have to, or maybe want to, because oftentimes we're not quite aware of what it is that we have packed into it or worse that other people have put in there now when you take everything out and try to decide what it is that you actually want to carry in your mental backpack it is important to know what is truly important to you what your values are now I don't know about you but when I was in the middle of my corporate career, working really hard, focused on that, if you had asked me back then, what are your values, what are your core values, I couldn't have said, I couldn't have given you an answer. So maybe you find yourself in the same position. You know there are things that are important to you, but you don't really know what they are. You know you're carrying things in your backpack, in your mental backpack, roles, expectations, assumptions, maybe even some values. You just don't know whether all of that stuff is yours. So how do you find out what your core values are, what your values are? And you can of course Google core values and um, you'll be presented with long lists sometimes four or five hundred words long it all represent values and you'll be asked to just start whittling away at those lists until you're left with something like five now i don't know about you but i always found those exercises hard and rather boring it's not easy to um, look at a list of four or five hundred or even if it's only three hundred only three hundred words that represent values and decide okay this is one that i like this one is mine that one isn't now there's a solution to that or it's a better way i think at least um, i devised i have two exercises that are much more fun and in many ways easier to discover what your values are. The first one is think of three people, if you know five even better, but at least three people you really admire. People that you could call role models for you. And think of why it is that you admire those people. What about them makes them your role model. Now they don't have to be alive, they don't have to even have to be real people, they can be characters in a novel or a movie or in mythology, it doesn't matter. As long as they are people that you um, admire. Think about what it is about these people that you admire. That's one. When you look at the things that you admire in those people, those are things that you recognize within yourself. Maybe you're not expressing it, but it is important to you. The qualities, the, the values that you recognize in those people are the things that are important to you. You can add to that with the second exercise, and that is thinking about your dream jobs. Now you may be in your dream job, great, but if you're not, think about the things, think about the careers, the jobs that you think of as a dream job. And if you don't know what those are, think about the things that you wanted to be when you were a kid. And think again of um, at least five, I would say, maybe 10 if you can. And as with the people that you admire, 
Think about what it is in those jobs, in those careers, that makes them a dream job for you. What about those jobs is it that attracts you so much to it? And again, those things that attract you to that job, to that career, are things that are truly important to you. They are part of your value system. Now you may end up with a list that's longer than three or five, but when you look closer, there's probably going to be a common thread and you can group some of those values together. See if you can get down to five, maybe three core values. And those are your core values. Once you know that and you empty your mental backpack, you look at the roles, the ex expectations, the assumptions and everything else that you've put in there or that has been put in there over the course of your life. Now you have something you can hold those things up against. You can look at your values and ask yourself, okay, when I look at this role, does it align with my values? And if it doesn't, is it something that I continue to do or do I give it back to the rightful owner or is it a role that nobody really cares about and that I could just stop doing same for expectations same for assumptions go through every item hold it up against your values and see whether or not you want to continue carry it in your mental backpack if you want to go over those two exercises that I just mentioned in a little bit more depth the role model exercise and the career, the dream job exercise, you can go to my website and find a free resource there. Just go to daregreatlycoaching.com and, and click on resources and you can find the link to download the core values exercises. Have fun with it. I hope it helps. I know it can help. And as always, go there greatly.